Hey guys, Dutch here, again, talking about msf.gg and Mantis stuff. Uh, they have this other tab that's called ISO Confidence, and it's really cool because what it says is you can look at any character in the game and see what the confidence, or well, it's really just the, the popularity of each ISO class on every single character based on everybody's uploaded rosters to msf.gg. So they're just mining all the data that people have put up there for their rosters and telling you what's the most popular and least popular. Uh, so for instance, Cyclops, Raider is 52%, which I'm surprised by because I put Striker on mine because I want that 10% damage, right? But, you know, everybody's got their own opinions on this stuff, so it's kind of interesting to see. Skirmisher, 5%. I don't know why you would do that. Fortifier, 3.3%. You know, yeah, he might die, but, you know, you, you, know, you gotta go gotta go all in with Cyclops here next X-Men. Uh, but this is really cool because it, you can look up any character. Like, look at Doom. A lot of people have Striker, Raider, Healer, Skirmisher, and none, none have Fortifier. There's only a few people that have Doom that are uploaded to msf.gg, right? There's like 20 people in the game that have Doom unlocked, but only, say, like five of them have actually uploaded, or four of them have uploaded their roster with Doom on it to msf.gg, so that's what we're looking at. And uh, it's kind of funny that they're all split. But you can see here... Doc Ock, he's healer, right? He's got lots of heals and active heals and stuff in his passive, so it makes sense. 94% choose him. Uh, Fortifier for Doctor Strange, trying to keep him alive. Makes a lot of sense. Healer could help keep him alive, too, because he gets that bonus uh, heal on turn. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know. This is, uh, I'm surprised people would do healer on him because there's so many other ways to get health from that team. Fortifier is better because, or at least in my opinion, because you would get it over, um, you know, anything that you get as far as heals go. Anyway, uh, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can look at here, and, and there's so many options, right? Like Striker, Ghost, 89%. This should be higher. Um, there's no reason to do any of these other things as far as I know. Her, her basic is one of the best ISO Striker attacks in the entire game. Um, if not, probably the best, I would argue. 25% uh, turn reduction on a ISO attack is insane. Um, so that's 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 crazy that anybody would not have that. But anyway, um, you know, to each their own. This is a great way to investigate your roster and your characters and see how are you doing compared to the rest of the pack. So let's do that with mine. Uh, I don't know how up to date mine is. Um, but I can go ahead and I can say, you know what, let's click here, let's export to msf.gg through the Mantis tool. Ah, oh, I need to reset up my thingamajigs. Oops. Oh well. Let's just see what I got. Alright, so how many of these do I have correct? Let's see, I never put ISOs on some of these characters, that's why they're blacked out. <laughs> I put okay, so you can see here it varies a little bit by character. Um, you can see the ones now. Look at this. My cable is skirmisher, which is very unpopular. A lot of people put striker on him. Uh, the way that I use X Force, though, and I've explained this in many breakdowns and videos, uh, I believe him and Domino should be skirmishers because of the turn order and the fact that. Uh, you want X-23 and Deadpool, who deal the most damage in the team, to be the strikers and picking up those ISO attacks. Um, that's interesting. I'll have to investigate that one as to why they would do striker on him. But you can see here I agree with the, the majority on a lot of these, uh, or at least top two. Uh, here's another one, Domino. Again, somebody has to apply vulnerabilities on this team. You can't just have everybody as Raiders and strikers. So anyway, um, it's just really interesting. Uh, because for me, like Elsa, yeah, I would love to have her as a raider, but the fact is with her, um, she's really weak on my supernatural team, so I have her as a skirmisher, uh, just because I need her to apply a vulnerability so that Ghost Rider, who's like 110k power, can just, like, eat that up and just annihilate people with his striker status, so it's just funny to see, like, what yours are compared to everybody else. I mean, how cool is this? You just scroll down here. Look at this, my juggernaut I have as Raider. I'm the, like, one of the few people that has him as Raider, and I've explained this in detail before. His ult is unblockable. Unblockable! That means it will have a chance to crit on every person it touches. And I think a lot of people are overlooking the power of that by allowing him to get crits on his ult and uh, increasing the chance of it. So, in any case, a lot of people have him as Fortifier. I've never 
lost my juggernaut before he ulted, so I I don't know about that, but anyway, uh, it's just funny to see, and you can click through here and compare, and just be like, why are people doing this? Look at this, my Mordo, I have my Striker, right? So he applies more debuffs whenever he hits on an ISO attack. Raider? Eh, I don't know. He can't crit on his basic, or his special, I mean, so it's just like, whatever. Interesting, though. It is so cool to look at this and be able to see, like, am I making the right decisions? Why is my Punisher Skirmisher when everybody else has him as Raider? Well, if he's in Skilletary, he probably should be Raider. But if he's in Defenders, well, Skirmisher, you know, the interaction between Striker Skirmishers when it comes to assisting characters is important. And you definitely want to have that set up correct uh, for Defenders. So, uh, oh, here's a good one. I have Rhino as a raider. Uh, I don't really give a shit about Rhino, so whatever. Uh, <laughs> Ronan, Ronan is a striker. Don't care about Ronan either, so who cares? It's probably a level 1 ISO. Um, but this is so cool because it lets you check out your entire roster and look against that. On Mantis over here, while I'm sorting through my roster, it's going to upload whatever the percentages are here. It'll tell me exactly what they are on that particular character while I'm looking through it. So that's really, really, really useful to have because it helps me make sure that I'm not doing something crazy. Or if I am, do I have good reason to be crazy? Because there's nothing wrong with going against the trends and the flows. Like, don't ever feel like, oh man, only 12.8% of people have used healer on stature. I must be an idiot for not doing that. No, no. If you have a good justification such as this particular ISO gets you wins on your blitz auto attacks, then that makes sense if it works for you. But just as a warning, you can use this to check and see how far away from reality are you, right? Are you off in another world doing something silly for no reason? Well, then you can bring yourself in by looking at it and comparing here. I use Raider on freaking Winter Soldier. I can't believe this isn't more popular. His passive gives him more bonus crit damage. And when you pair him with two other Hydra members and X-Factor, they are badass together. And I absolutely love that combo. So, you know, that's how I play. That's what I do. And I know what I'm doing. And I can defend my positions on that. And I think this is just a really interesting way of comparing yourself against the community and what they're doing. And so this also gives me the idea of thinking like, wow, maybe I should highlight some of the things that I'm doing with these characters that are so against the trend and uh, make that more well known and explain my positions on them and why I choose what I did. Uh, for instance, I have Fortifier on Proxima on my arena defense and it's locked in there. The reason why? Because if Proxima does not go into the yellow or red, the Thanos will not get his extra turn meter and not force him to special early. This can screw up anybody's arena attack on you. Uh, it is a very, very uncommon thing to see in arena. I don't have anyone else in my shard running this right now, but guess what? I unlocked level five fortifier on her just specifically for that purpose. Nobody else is running that on, uh, uh, on for the most part. Skirmisher is primarily what I use for her on attack everywhere else in the game, but for that one specific, pur specific purpose, I have fortifier ISO five on her on arena defense. I can explain these things. I can, I can, I can defend my positions at least, uh, even if they are only three percent correct according to this. <laughs> but it's such a cool thing to do. This is such a cool, like, tool to have. So I'm gonna put the link to this in the uh, the chat or in the uh, Discord down here, and um, description, whatever. I don't know. Gin and tonic night. Woo. Anyway, msf.gg slash meta slash ISO. At the top, though, there is a meta button that you can click on, and then you can see the little tabs here. Go to ISO confidence, and then you can select the on-off switch in order to turn on yours versus other things, right? That's uh, that's the trick there. So that way you can just have it highlight the ones that you use. It's really, really cool. Mantis pulls the same information into the graphical overlay for uh blue stacks or Mimu or Nox or whatever the hell you use. It doesn't really matter. It just picks it up and it'll show you the percentages for all these things. Very, very cool. Very, very helpful. Uh, if you have questions, of course, Discord, whatever, uh, put it in the comments. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out some way to help you out if you have any troubles with it. Or if you just want to debate ISO classes, you're welcome to do that. You can also hop on the Discord and uh, at me if you'd like uh, in the Ask Dutch channel on my server. 
and uh, let me know what you think about uh, my choices or your choices. Be curious to know. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.